If we look at efforts to advance health equity, certainly that encompasses addressing some of the social and economic factors that influence health. It includes factors that influence whether or not people are able to access or gain entry into the healthcare system. But then there are also a set of factors to consider once people are within the healthcare system regarding differences in the care they receive and treatment by providers. So. In the healthcare system, we see that black adults, for example, are more likely to report difficulty finding a doctor with shared background and experiences and someone that they feel they can trust. They're more likely to report certain negative healthcare experiences, such as not having um, a provider believe them, not getting prescribed pain medication that they thought they needed, or a test procedure or treatment that they needed. So there are differences in experiences even after people enter the healthcare system. Um, increasing diversity of the healthcare workforce to better represent our overall population is one action that can help to address some of these issues and increase access to culturally competent care. But at the same time, it's important for all doctors to be able to provide culturally competent care, which is going to require increased training to address bias and discrimination, not only among the current healthcare workforce, but among the next generation of healthcare workers who may be in training today.